you rock the units, okay? And as you can see right now, I'm rocking the hell out of this unit. You hear me? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel with your girl Kyra Sean. So for today's video, I'm giving you guys a first impression on a unit that was sent to me by Beauty Crew. But before we get into all aspects of this unit and what I think about a share of the pack, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and smash the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Okay, so like I said, this unit was sent to me by Beauty Crew. It is the Bobby Boss MLF 517 unit. These are the spring twists in 28 inches, and I got her in the color 1B. She does retail for $69.99. So starting to get into that high price point for synthetic wigs. This unit does come with a 4x4 lace parting area. So 4 inches of parting space here in the middle so you can kind of shift the braids, you know, left or right or put them in the center if you want to. This unit also comes with two combs on the side, one comb in the back and the adjustable straps. It also comes with the elastic band to give you that extra security and snugness for the, the wig cap. Now my head is 23 inches as you guys know and this unit does fit down perfectly on both sides of my head. So this cap is big head friendly and I still love the hooks on the adjustable straps. It also comes with a natural looking hairline with baby hairs. I did not go in and cut the baby hairs. I wanted to leave them as is. If I wear this out, I would definitely go in and, you know, chop those so they won't be kind of tucked into the actual unit. Like I said, this unit is 28 inches, so it's pretty long. It comes down way past my chest and almost down to my waist, as you can see right here. This is how the unit is looking from the front to the side and then to the back. So I've only seen one review on this unit so far on YouTube, um, and I really, really wanted to try it. That one review did kind of scare me a little bit. Like, man, this is gonna be trash like i'm not gonna like it i'm not gonna be able to work with it or whatever but beauty crew had already sent out the unit so i'm like you know what if i don't like it i'm just gonna have to tell them i don't like it but surprise surprise the end result i do like it but that's the end result i need to tell you guys how i got to this end result this unit's cap construction is not the greatest the hairline is really nice the four by four parting area is really nice the rest of the cap though is if I say trash, that sounds horrible. So I'm not gonna say trash. It's just not great. It's not great at all. The issue that I have with this unit is the back of the cap construction. The wig cap itself is made from that type of, um, like the cornrow wig cap that a lot of girls make their crochet wigs out of. So as you can see right here, if I turn to the side, you can see um, the actual cornrows on the cap and that's how they kind of went through and crochet the twist onto the wig cap, which I'm not, you know, do what you know do you or whatever but there were a lot of gaps in this cap they did not fill this cap up at all there was a lot of twists up here in the front a lot in the back but as far as this was concerned it's like it was an afterthought now i did have an extra pack of twists laying around in my stash of wig stuff so i actually used those to put into the cap i'm not going to tell you the brand of them because they, they're not the same brand as the wig or whatever you can use any pack of pretty much spring twists or passion twists or whatever to put into the unit because as far as i'm concerned you can't tell which ones i put in there which ones already came with the unit so i'm going to show you guys real quick how the cap looked when i took it out the pack and then i'm going to show you guys how i fix it and then we'll come back and talk about it
Now, the only reason I could think that they would leave gaps like that in the cap is to not put as much hair on the cap because this is a thick type of a texture. Obviously, filling this cap up the way that we think it should be full would probably make this cap a lot poofier and heavier and just not wearable. It's not heavy on my head. It's very, very lightweight. There's still a little bit of gaps. If you can see like in here, if I turn around and I part the hair, you can clearly see the gaps up in here. If you guys can see that. So that does not look great at all. But when I put the hair down, it doesn't look as bad, okay? And when I pat my hands on my head, I can't feel any gaps either. There were some gaps here on the side, so if I was to pull the hair to the side, I would be able to see the actual wig cap. So I did go in and put some twist over there as well um, to kind of fill that space in. So obviously, depending on how you wear the hair, if it's a middle part, you'll be fine. If it's like a swoop over, you should be fine. If you fill those gaps in, you'll definitely have to be mindful of that when you're walking around trying to you know, be cute and stashing and flipping your hair everywhere. Remember those gaps in the back of your wig, okay? Don't. Mm. Dang, Brenda. They're going to talk about you at that Walmart. You're going to be on that things you see at Walmart site, okay? So don't do not do that. So this is what that parting space is looking like in the middle. I did go in and put some powder in the parting space, just a tad bit um, to kind of blend it down to my skin tone. Now, the hair wasn't as poofy as I thought it was going to be out the pack. I did go in with some mousse to put on top of the unit um, to kind of get rid of those flyaways because there were some flyaways on the unit. And that is about it, you guys. Now, if you want to wear this unit out the pack, you know, without filling in any gaps or anything, this is a good plop and go unit it's a good beginner friendly unit however if you're someone like me who just can't stand the gaps like that and you're able to fix it i would definitely say this is a good beginner friendly unit for someone who wants to try to make a wig like this but don't really have the patience or the time to do it to me this is basically like a starter cap like it's like the the wig that you want to wear but it's not completely finished so you got to buy a little extra material to finish the wig that's what i feel like this is um in a nutshell i think this is a good starting point for this i think if they were to fill in the gaps of this this wig to me would be perfect Perfect. But I do think the price point is a little high for the wig cap to look like this. Okay, I don't have an issue with it because I had the hair on hand. And if I didn't have the hair on hand, I'll, this would probably be a different video. <laughs> it's definitely that springiness in that unit. The hair is very, very soft. It's very lightweight. It's not hot on my head. Now, of course, with this hair, you will get hot around the neck. So if you wanna try to pin it up, let's see what, what'll happen. See the gaps in there? Like, we don't like that. We, we don't like that. However, if you spend your coin on something that you really, really want and you really, really want this wig, you can definitely pin this joint up and plop on a nice little scarf and tie this up into a look, okay? And nobody will ever know that you have on a wig or that you have gaps in your unit, all right? Make the unit work for you. I tell you guys all the time, do not let these units rock you. You rock the units, okay? And as you can see right now, I'm rocking the hell out of this unit. You hear me? I made this unit work for me. I'm definitely realizing with these synthetic units, they're giving us options, okay? There's always a starting point with something so there's growing pains so i'm not going to bash this unit or say it's trash or whatever um i'll just say it needs some work i'm not mad at this at all i'm not mad at this now i'm disappointed i'm disappointed bobby boss in that you know that cap construction we, 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 fix that all right but shout out to beauty crew for sending me this unit i really appreciate it for anyone who wants to check the unit out i'll put the direct link for this unit down below make sure you tell them that kyra sean sent you don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video also smash the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up i love you guys so much and i will see you next time Bye.